Alright guys, it is kind of almost the end of summer, which I know is like, don't say that. We all love summer and we don't want it to end, but I do love fall fashion and I feel like transitional outfits are really fun. I love doing kind of like a mix of fall and summer outfits. Obviously I live in Southern California, so it's a little bit on the warmer side here so I can get away with maybe like a little bit more warm transitional outfits but I got in a bunch of pieces from Lulu's I've partnered up with them for today's video so I'm gonna show you guys some transitional summer fall outfits and they have really good pieces I will link everything in the description box per usual and I really love the way these outfits turned out so I'm gonna show you guys now all right so the first outfit I picked up this pair of slacks and these are so freaking cute they have the little <laughs> I just like <laughs> um push that out of myself but they have the little like crisscross feature which is so cute and I feel like trousers or like slacks like this are really good going into fall but because they're white they feel a little more like summery to me and i got these in a size extra small i actually paired them with sneakers here because i'm going to do kind of like an edgier street style look for this and then i got this bodysuit it is a bright red which i normally never wear but i feel like it's just like a really fun good pop of color right now and I got this in a size extra small. It was a little hard to zip because I'm like fuller chested. I'm a 32 double D for reference. So I would maybe suggest, I guess probably my normal size would be a small, but with bodysuits, I never know what the material is going to be like. If they're really stretchy, I want them to be really tight. So I usually size down to an extra small, but this one I should have done a small. And then I'm just going to grab the rest of the outfit. Alright, so like I said, I wanted to make this like a little street style and edgier, so I'm actually going to pair it with a baseball cap. I need to get my hair done, so this is a perfect way to conceal the roots. And then I have this blazer. I got this in a size... Let's see what size did I get. I got this in a US medium. I sized up in this because I like my blazers to be really big. And this is a beautiful, like, mocha color, really pretty brown. This is a great transitional piece and just, like, going into fall. And then I actually wanted to pair this over the shoulders like this instead of, like, worn as a true blazer because I feel like that's a little more transitional. And then just a little bag for another white pop. So this is a good street style outfit. I love this for like running errands, going to meet a friend for lunch or something. If you live in a city, I feel like this is a really good city outfit. And I just like this vibe. I'll show you guys what it looks like with the blazer like on on too. If you're interested in that. I'd probably like roll the sleeves to make it a little more casual. But this is a really good piece that you can layer with so many different things. And then I also want to share these same trousers styled a different way. So this is a little bit more for like warmer weather. This bodysuit is such a pretty like chestnut color. And I love the neckline of this. It's a little more square. I love the straps are a little bit thicker. And it is a really good fall color. It looks so good against the white. And then again, I just paired it with like a white purse to tie in the pants. And then a little booty because... Going into fall, I feel like it's time to bust out the boots and booties. And what I love about these trousers is they are very versatile, so you can kind of style them like street style with sneakers, things like that. Or you can dress them up a little bit with like heels or booties. They could be good for business casual, something a little dressier, so a really good piece. And also, I'm 5'4 for height reference on these. This outfit is so cute. It might be my favorite one in the haul. Maybe just because it's a little more colorful. It's really happy. Obviously, 2021 has been a huge year for color. So many people who normally didn't wear a lot of color busted it out, myself included. So I love this. I'm still going into fall. I feel like we can add in color however we want, wherever we want. And it's happy and it feels good. So this outfit actually... Both of these top pieces are knitted so they give like a sweater vibe, but they're definitely not 
super heavy duty or anything so they feel perfect for a transitional outfit the green top has like a halter neck you can adjust it i got this in a small and you don't even have to wear a bra with it it is such a nice color and it's really really comfy and then this yellow little like ribbed short sleeve cardigan is so cute i actually don't normally like cardigans but in a short sleeve like cropped version i get down and then I just paired it with some baggy denim, um, a little pop of color on the bag again, and some fun sneakers. So I love this for something just casual. Again, maybe like running errands, hanging out with friends, grabbing a bite to eat, going shopping, anything like that. I think this is perfect for a really good weekend outfit. This one I love for something a little more simple. So this is actually from the Lulu's Basics. It's a bestseller, and it is just a kind of like staple piece. It's off the shoulder, so it has a little bit of flair, which I think is really fun. I've honestly always loved off the, off the shoulder tops. I remember having a black one like this when I was like 13 and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. So I just paired it here with denim. So like I said, this is just really simple and classic. I love that it's kind of understated. And I went with a open-toed heel, like strappy sandal to kind of add into that transitional look. But if you needed something that was a little bit warmer, you could obviously pair this with little black booties or like a pop of color in booties. And I think that it would be really fun. So this is a good, just like staple and basic to have around. I got this in a size small and it's not a bodysuit, it's just a normal top, but it's really stretchy and it's kind of long, so it's really easy to tuck it. Okay, I actually love this outfit as well. It's something a little outside of my comfort zone and I normally don't dress quite as like feminine as this, I guess, but I kind of like it because it's played down a little bit and it still feels like casual to me and just kind of fun. So this top is more like peasant style. It's got kind of like a puffy sleeve, which I always love for a dramatic effect. And then it ties in the front, so it's completely adjustable, which is really nice. And it has just like a ditzy little floral print on it. It's really pretty, it's lightweight, and I feel like it looks really expensive, but it's affordable. And then I just paired it here with some like loose Levi's, super easy to style with and then I went with these white pumps and a little white handbag again so I think this is perfect for something kind of like street style a little bit more dressed up again if you live in a city I feel like this is a fun outfit for that or if you're just like going to brunch going shopping whatever it is I think that this is a really cute outfit it's a little more girly for me like I said but I actually love the way it came together all right, this is the last look I have for you guys, and this lace bodysuit is kind of like lingerie. It is so pretty. It doesn't have pasties or like cups or anything, so you can just wear whatever you feel comfortable with. The neck is adjustable, which is really nice, so you can make it tighter or looser on based on what you need. And the back is so stunning. Like, this is gorgeous. It comes in multiple colors. I believe I also got this from the Best Sellers section on Lulu's. I got a size small, I believe, and it's really comfy. So I just have it here with pants, again, or with jeans and some heels, and I wanted to show you guys another way to kind of add a layer and make it a little more transitional with that mocha colored blazer. I think this is perfect. I kind of like that it's a little dressed up with the blazer and the bodysuit, but then the denim still dresses it down because I do prefer like a more casual look yeah and then maybe just like a white bag this is perfect for like going out to dinner going out to meet your friends for drinks anything like that I love this for and it's really wearable and comfortable too so I will link everything in the description box for you guys let me know what else you want to see fashion wise coming up now that we're going to start transitioning to a different season and different styles I'm really excited to start styling for that so let me know all right I work in Camel Joe. I'm going to get my hair done today. I'm driving the car. I love when I drive the car because I don't think I ever do. Here I am. Feast your eyes. I'm going to see my girl, Aubrey. I'll put her handle here, hair by Aubrey. I'm due for a refresh. My hair's looking a little, little dingy lately. Oh God, I just like ripped some out. I usually get my hair done. Car is gonna yell at me. Oh my god. Stop. Like, I'm literally not gonna hit anything. Please stop. Screw it. <laughs> I just stop, please.
I usually get my hair done around like every six to eight weeks. Sometimes it's longer just because things get busy and oh! we're just off-roading. Things get busy for myself and hairdressers obviously. Y'all are such hard workers and you're always busy so sometimes it can be hard to get into you. I don't know when the last time I got my hair done was probably around eight weeks ago or so. So yeah, I'm due for a change and I always kind of do like a bit of a disclaimer when discussing getting my hair done because I feel like if you don't people like get their panties in a bunch but I so I just always like to mention that I like multiple different hairdressers I think that they are all talented I think they all do a great job I think they all have their own technique and skills and everything and I can appreciate and benefit from all of them so I don't limit myself to just being like dedicated to one person forever and ever I have gone to Aubrey who I'm going to today for years on and off and she does an amazing job and I really appreciate her so she's a great person if you're looking for someone everyone else I've ever gone to in the area is also great has done a great job and I would go back to them again so when you ever see me going to like a different person than I did the time before that's what's up and yeah I don't have a problem with it so I'm chilling. Last time I mentioned this on a vlog, one of you said that I was a hairdresser hoe, but in like a cute way. And I liked it, I thought it was funny. What I wanna do to my hair today, I'm feeling like I need a little change and I miss, show, I'll put a picture in here, but I miss the hairstyle I had a couple of months back, actually Aubrey did it, where I went a little bit deeper and darker on the top and kind of throughout and had some like big chunky money pieces in the front. So I'll put a picture of that here. Obviously because Aubrey did it, she knows how to do that again. So considering that, but also my friend Amber, you guys probably know who she is or follow her. She is a blogger as well. She, Amber Lancaster, she has a really nice hair color right now. It's similar to that. It has a lot of dimension and depth, which I love, especially on blonde hair. But it's more like honey toned, so it's warmer. And um, I love the way that looks too. So I'm thinking of kind of like mixing those two. And when I get my hair done, what I do or what I ask for is kind of just show whoever is doing it. So today, Aubrey, some inspo pics. Like, I'm gonna show her Amber's stories. I don't know if she has like a picture that I referenced. I just like screenshotted her talking on her stories the other day. So I'll send, I'll show Aubrey that. And I will also reference, the, oh God. There you go. I'll also reference the, this isn't the right street. Where the frick am I? Okay, please hold. Right. I'm actually lost, which is hilarious because it shouldn't be. So I'll show her my old, or I'll talk about my old hair that I had. I'll show her Amber's, and we'll just kind of discuss like what do you think is gonna work best for my hair. And I'm super like open always to hearing my hairdresser's ideas too. If my hairdresser ever has like input or ideas, I'm always open to hearing those as well. So I'll usually just ask Aubrey what she thinks, if she wants to put any input in on something that she thinks would look good or something I shouldn't do. So that's kind of where we'll go. And because I'm growing my hair out right now, I will, where the frick is my hairdresser? my question. I really don't know. This is so, like, I think it's this way. Maybe that way. Okay, I fudged up. So, let's turn around. Because I am growing my hair out, we'll just do a little bit of a trim and that's gonna be it. We're just gonna go to salon, go to the salon now and make this process happen. So, at the yeah. light, turn. 
Hey guys, I'm back with Aubrey. Hi guys. And what is the plan? So we are gonna do a full highlight with low lights, and I'm gonna do a pretty heavy low light throughout and pull it through pretty far down, but not all the way through the end. We're trying to get some dimension in there, and then we're gonna not actually lift her super high. I'm gonna keep it more golden this time. Yeah. So we're gonna try something different. And more honey. Yeah, more honey for fall. Let's see, we're gonna see what happens. No, it's gonna be and fun. Show them how cute you are and how pregnant you are. Big little belly now. Oh. Coming in hot. She looks great. Okay, so we're just going to sit here and talk about Bravo. Yep. <laughs> such a good job I feel like it's a really pretty like creamy color and it blends so nicely it definitely feels just like refreshed and yeah I love it we didn't do a root smudge so we didn't do quite as dark on the top as I was originally thinking but I just feel like really refreshed I like the dimension I really like the tone and maybe next time when I go in for fall, I could do something like a little deeper and darker. But I think this is perfect for like transition. So Aubrey crushes it. She's about to have a baby. So she's going to be out for a little while. I'll put her handle here again if you guys need someone in the OC area. All right. So we're winding down from bed right now. The other week on Delaney's story, she said that I was going like having a lot of uh, night terrors recently. And we got a lot of feedback and a lot of people saying that like their boyfriends and stuff deal with the same thing. But a common thing that a lot of people were recommending was this drink called Calm. It's a, it's just magnesium. But it's supposed to be like a anti-stress drink and you can drink it I think throughout the day or anything like that. But I've been drinking a little bit before bed, uh, just trying to help me wind down a little bit so I'm not having as many uh, night terrors or sleepwalking or sleep talking because it's been a little crazy recently and Delaney is just about fed up with me so I've been trying to do this hoping it helps it seems to like relax me a little bit and it feels like I feel like it's working uh, there still has been a couple instances of uh, sleep talking or sleepwalking what have you so it's not not foolproof yet, but maybe I'm not like taking it off, whatever. I don't know. It's probably not going to be a one-stop shop to fix my little sleep problems. This flavor is a raspberry lemon flavor and it's actually pretty good. It doesn't have any weird taste or anything like some drinks do or like supplements. Okay, but also on Delaney's story, she asked you guys if you guys would like to see us reenact what transpires at night and it's quite funny and you guys all responded yes so i think we're gonna give a little uh what you what you call it a uh reenactment of what it's like to uh sleep next to me all right babe want to give them the rundown on uh what it's like to sleep with me yeah and just told about my calm it tastes really good though. It's fun. I'll try. Not so bad, right? Fun. Not no. bad. No. Okay. Alright. Do anyone to be me in this experiment? <laughs> She's really good at it, so I'll be her. Here we are. Sleeping. Okay. This is Delaney. She sleeps perfectly. Still. Sleeping peacefully, okay? 
She's so just nice. like this. Doesn't so even. Nice. Maybe her arms are underneath the cover. No, I like them out. Out. Okay. She is so here, chill. We're here. Clayton's making a tornado. Yeah, you know. foot's out. My foot's out of the side for sure. Whatever. We're sleeping in the middle of the night, right? In the middle. The middle of the night, dead asleep, it's pitch black. REM sleep is happening. Not for me. <laughs> Not for me. For her over there. For you, yeah, you're yeah. like this. REM sleep is happening, life's so good. I gotta put this like up here so I can show what this is. <laughs> Okay guys, sleeping, Anna. We're sleeping. All of a sudden, in the middle of the night, mind you, the middle of the night, dead asleep. <laughs> You're gonna show them where, <laughs> where we're over. Here. Jumps Here. out of the Re bed. Reenact the jump, reenact the jump. Jumps. It's so bad. Oh. Hey, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Go back to bed. Go back to bed. <laughs> no. <laughs> walk back to walk of shame. It's a walk of shame back to bed. No words? <laughs> Is it no words after you tell me to go back to bed? Uh, I don't know. It's not okay though. Uh, like. It's brutal. I feel like I haven't been sleeping that well. Like I feel like I don't get enough sleep. Like, you think? <laughs> you're running around at night. Oh my god. Yeah, isn't that? That's kind of bad. It's not alright. It's not chill. I... Love you, but like I don't play about my sleep. Yeah, she hates it. It's the one it. thing. She hates it. It's like my one non-negotiable. Like my sleep is my most important thing for my life. So I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> I'll also like sit up a lot in the night. Yeah. Like around. <laughs> yeah, but it's not all right. So I'm gonna go to a sleep specialist. I'm gonna go to a sleep specialist soon. Oh, yeah. You need to do something. Cause Honestly, just not good for... It's not good for you. Well, it's not good for me, and it's not good. You're, like, getting a secondhand oh, yeah. effect well, because you you have to wake up in the night or you're Yeah, you're the not worst part well. is, actually, I, I wake up to that, which is, like, honestly a really traumatic way to wake up, which I understand it's probably traumatic for you to be experiencing that, too. But, but I'm, like, more... I'm like more still asleep, so like it's like, yeah, but it's really traumatic to wake up to. It's like scary, and then he like comes back to bed, but I don't really fall asleep after that because yeah. then I'm like scared. Like I don't know, I'm not scared that there's like something that he thought was in here. I'm just like scared that he's gonna do something again, and I also don't know if he's like going to like attack me. Like yeah. one I'm time he did like grab me in the night. That like was scary. in the middle of the night, dead asleep, just like all of a sudden, <laughs> and I'm like, "What the?" That was scary. That yeah, that was, was the really worst. Scary. I screamed at the top of my lungs, <laughs> actually, at Clayton's parents' yeah, house we that night, and so his mom came running downstairs to see what was wrong, and that was I so literally bad. did not sleep a wink after that because I was so scared. Like I didn't know if he was gonna like hurt me, like. He's not really there, you know, so. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's okay, babe. I know you don't mean to, but it's just like, I can't just keep sleeping next to that every night no, because no. it's so sketchy and unhealthy for us yeah. both. So. Yeah, so we're going to try to get this we're fixed. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> I don't know what it can be. Like, I've tried, to, I've tried to cut out sugar before bed. It's not every Maybe single time. Right. And then, like, <laughs> like, low consumption of alcohol. Like, I don't drink much. Um... Caffeine, you need caffeine. like I'll, yeah, I don't know. But even now, I haven't had caffeine like this whole week, and I'm still having them. 
I know, you're having like the worst bout of them ever. Well, a lot of people say that it's like stress induced. You need to like meditate more. Stress. Stress is like a huge trigger for it from like what people have said when I asked on my story. So you need to. That's why I'm trying to drink calm, anti stress. Mm -hmm. drink. And you need to like meditate and. Mm. I'll try to stop stressing you out. You don't stress me out. Your hair looks good. <laughs> yeah, um, so that is the what it's like to sleep with us. That's the tea. I think it's so funny the way she reenacts it. Because I don't think I make that much noise. Um, mm. No, trust me, when you jump, it's loud. <laughs> the jump is hilarious. The jump? Do the jump one more time. Oh, oh, it's so funny though because... Sometimes he does just like wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom. And yeah, he's not like yeah, tweaking yeah. out, but I know instantly when he's tweaking out. I can just hear in the like urgency of him like moving the covers, and then I hear the jump, and I'm like, "It's over." <laughs> Here's the jump. This guy's about to go tweak out. So you out heard in the, the jump multiple times. There. Oh yeah, the jump. But you can tell. You remind me of, like a little mouse or something. Like, but you yeah, can tell I'm when like, I'm just going to the bathroom. Sleeping. Funny. It's so funny. It's so cute. <laughs> it's not funny when I do it. I don't laugh. Oh no. It's alright. I'm gonna be okay. <laughs> We're gonna get it figured out, baby. We'll get it figured out. We'll keep you guys updated if you guys have any of these issues. If you want part two, just hit my line. <laughs> if you guys have dealt with this before, we'll take your advice. We are here to listen. <laughs> <laughs>